हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स ऑफ जावा प्रोग्रामिंग एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर डॉक्टर विवेक उप्रित सो हियर आई एम विथ यू विद दिस सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स ऑफ जावा प्रोग्रामिंग ओके सो इन दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द पाथ ऑफ एक्चुअली दिस कंप्लीट कोर्स लाइक वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस कोर्स ओके वॉट एक्जैक्टली द जावा टेक्नोलॉजी इज वाई देर इज ए नीड टू लर्न जावा टेक्नोलॉजी यू नो वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एनी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक एनी लाइक जावा पाइथॉन पी एच पी सी सी प्लस प्लस ओके first and foremost question which comes in the mind that is why why there is a need of java actually right so in this introductory video we are going to cover this why java and then when we will start this course these are the two important important thing we need to cover what is java actually okay and then finally we need to cover how to learn it okay so why what and how these are the three important factor and this is a very much frequently asked question of interview also being a fresher why you learn java why not .net why not python so you have a clear clarity in your mind like why there is a need to learn java language why this language is so much popular in the market you know if you see the graph of java in current market it's continuously increased day by day This is the language which among top five language of the world actually, right? So why the Java is that much popular? Why industry required this much people of Java technology? Why the packages of Java people are so much high? Okay, so definitely package is no bar for right candidate for a Java developer, right? So let me show you what exactly this technology is all about. Okay, why there is a need to learn this technology? If someone asked me, sir, what exactly Java actually? Why there is a need to learn Java? Okay, so my answer is very much clear. This answer actually i explained you with my 20 year of experience don't try to answer if you are a fresher in interview okay if someone asks me sir why java is so much popular in the market why not another technology is right so i simply say that java is a mahabharat you know mahabharat there is mahabharat and rama and right so java is a mahabharat like what say then sir what is c and c++ so i simply say that it's a rama and actually right sir why you say that java is a mahabharat this is the reason why i say java is a mahabharat and why it is so much popular in the market you know this is a one technology by which you can cover multiple areas right after completion of java you will become a web developer because java is most popular language in the market for web development so if you want to become a web developer okay java is the suitable technology for you if you want to become a desktop application developer you know what is desktop application actually desktop application means an application which is designed for a single user like suppose if you want to design any software for any medical shop so this will not be a web application this will be a desktop application for a single user again java is a fantastic technology to develop desktop application then java is the also one of the best language to develop mobile application actually android is the best example right the development of android actually done in java technology java is suitable language for cyber security java is a suitable language for iot application internet of things java is a suitable language for gaming application java is a suitable language for scientific software like most of the researcher use java technology for their scientific application so this is what the reason i am telling you the most popular language most demandable language of the world actually why why because this is the reason if you learn java then there are lot of areas open for you and that is the reason i simply say that java is a mahabharat because you know if in talk about c language then c is mostly used for system software development for embedded software right so this is what in ramayan who is the main hero of ramayan okay so simply say that sir shri ram is the main hero of ramayan but who is the main hero of mahabharat you cannot tell any one name because arjun is there okay yudhishthir is there bhim is there there are a lot of person shri krishna is there right so there are a lot of people who actually hero in mahabharat and that is what java actually this java technology this all are the hero actually you cannot say that java is popular only for one technology java is popular for web development java is popular for desktop application and there are see i'll show you the example actually android is the best example lot of i means every mobile who actually having an android operating system the development done in java technology and you know the most popular software actually linkedin uses java for their backend development spotify 
वन ऑफ द फेमस वेब एप्लीकेशन जी मेल ओके दिस ऑल आर द एप्लीकेशन वो यूज जावा फॉर देयर बैकहेंड एप्लीकेशन और समवेयर इन देयर कंट्रोलिंग पार्ट राइट सो लिंकड इन स्पोटिफाई जी मेल दिज आर द फेमस वेब एप्लीकेशन वेब एप्लीकेशन एक्चुअली देर आर लॉट ऑफ नेम देयर बट हियर इट्स नेक्स्ट टू पॉसिबल टू मैंशन ऑल द नेम सो दिस आर द सम ऑफ द फेमस वेबसाइट एक्चुअली वो यूजेस जावा एप्लीकेशन जावा टेक्नोलॉजी वेब एप्लीकेशन देन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन इंस्टाग्राम ट्विटर उबर दिज आर द App who use Java for their development, right? For Android application, Instagram use Java, Twitter uses Java, Uber. So these are the most famous, actually, mobile application. If we'll talk about gaming application, right? See, these are the imp most important gaming application like Minecraft and Runescape. These are the application who who uses Java for their development. So you, how you can say that Java is a language which used for a single purpose? That's why when we define a Java, we say that Java is a multi-purpose language. We cannot say C is a multi-purpose language or C plus plus is a multi-purpose language. But just every time we say that Java is a multi-purpose language, I hope now you understood why it is called a multi-purpose language because one language will open a multiple areas for a student. But sir, how to reach in these areas? Like, if you want to become a web developer in Java, then if you want to become a mobile application developer in Java, and is it necessary that Java application developer must know all this concept? No, it's not. It's next to impossible. If you are a Java developer, you have to choose any one path actually. So now let me explain you what exactly the path we need to follow to become a Java developer, right? So see, for moving any in this area, like if you want to become a web developer or a desktop application developer or a mobile application developer, you have to start your journey of Java with the concept of core concept, like core Java, right? So first you have to understand core Java concept. and this is what i am going to cover in this complete tutorial actually core java you know what is core java actually core java is a fundamental concept of java okay just wait for a time i'll explain you what topics i am going to cover in this core java but let me show you first path like suppose if you want to become a java developer then first you have to start your journey with the core java concept and you know if you are a fresher believe me 90% company actually focused on the core java questions in their interviews actually so you have to be very much clear about this core java concept so once you cover all the concept of this core java then we have to move with advanced java so actually java is divided into three different parts one is core java second is advanced java and in this advanced java you have to decide like you want to become a mobile application developer so you have to move to android side if you want to become a web developer then you have to move in web application like you have to focus on servlet and jsp topics right jdpc servlet jsp if you want to become a gaming application developer in future then after core java you have to shift to because you sir what is the meaning of this shifting actually you know Java is having multiple modules. Java is having multiple packages. Java is given me some of the content which is related with web application development. Some of the content which is actually called packages, actually. Okay, some of the packages which is related with web application development. So, if you want to become a web developer, you have to focus on only on these packages, which actually related with web application development in Java. If you want to become a mobile application developer, then after core Java, be focused on that packages which is focused on mobile application. Similarly. gaming application so after core java at you have to decide like in which area is suitable for you but first you have to be focus on core java because it's next to impossible that any people can understand advanced java directly it's next to impossible so you have to be focus on core java and that's why the reason i'm suggesting you right focus on core java because why companies are focusing on core java candidate i hope you understood because company want to mold a person want to mold a java developer there for their own requirement according to their own requirement like if company wants you to become a mobile application developer they only see the core java concept in you if you have a good core java concept then definitely they will suggest you okay we required the people for mobile application development okay so it takes hardly 15 days and you will become a mobile application developer not exactly completely but yes easily you can develop any mobile app so this is the reason why company be majorly focus on this core java so first one is a core java second is an advanced java and third one is the corporate java concept corporate java you know corporate java is basically a frameworks 
in corporate java we have to study frameworks like which type of framework like spring spring boot hibernate sturts these are some frameworks given by java okay java developer so we have to be focused on this frameworks actually because it's very easy to make an application using this framework but this framework you will be able to understand only if you have an advanced java concept because you know if we talk about suppose it's very earlier to uh, means explain this thing but let me show you suppose if you want to learn hibernate you know what is an hibernate it is a replacement of a jdpc like in jdpc means java database connectivity if you want to learn spring spring boot then you have to know the knowledge of servlet and jsp then only you are able to understand what is spring and spring boot because these are the architecture based applications mvc architecture orm architecture object relational mapping model view controller so this framework actually based on this architecture so and what are, what exactly this architecture you have to learn all this thing in advanced java but once you are trying to learn advanced java you have to be focused on this core java concept because advanced java needed core java concept so this is what actually a cycle first you have to go with this core java then advanced java and then corporate java so in this complete tutorial we have we are going to be focus on core java concept right now most of the student got very confused sir is any prerequisition to learn this java technology so there is no prerequisition okay only you have to know the basic computer knowledge that's it that is what my requirement for during this tutorial and the second most important requirement is that you have to be focus on each and every topic and you have to follow the sequence you have to following the sequence throughout this series okay 10 to 15 project we are going to cover in this core java tutorial only and then advanced and corporate is a another thing right so be focus on this we have we are going to cover interview questions of topmost mnc's like what type of question interview interviewer ask an interview right like the companies like google companies like amazon companies like microsoft what type of question they asked an interview so i have a complete data with me only i want you to be focus on this complete technology okay so core java advanced java and corporate java this is the three uh, actually steps and then sir what important topic we are going to cover in this core java see java is very vast technology but let me show you some of the important topic like we have to start with the introductory concept then we'll cover data type okay then after data type i'm going to explain you about the conditional statement okay conditional statements in java okay after conditional statement then we'll focus on looping concept okay and then after looping then we'll focus on methods and then after i'll go you the concept of object oriented programming from the day one actually we need to understand this object oriented programming concept how to install java in your machine what is jdk jre jvm and then some of the topic like packages exception handling multi threading collection framework io concept okay these are the some most important topic which we are going to cover in this technology so all this topic which is the most 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 important topic i'll cover each and every topic and again i'm repeating you this is my surety will cover at least 10 to 15 project duration of this complete tutorial of core java only okay so this is what the path of this java technology and why this technology is needed in the market i hope you understood believe me the starting packages being a fresher if you are a good java developer if you know the core java concept thoroughly this is my surety that starting package of the java developer is minimum 10 to 15 lakh per annum and there is no bar for right candidate there is no bar for experienced people right so let's meet in the next class till then take care bye bye